What's up folks? Positive Paul. And it is Friday, January 14th, 2021. Well, while some walk, you know, they're walk down their primrose path with their rose-colored glasses, telling themselves that, hey, I got it all figured out. Yeah, you know, they can't touch me. You know, we we do try to uh, come at this with a, a sense of sobriety, if possible. And, you know, if, if you had to track in Scripture what went wrong, th this, this may be one, one version of, of possibly many. But you just, just start in Genesis chapter 9, and God says, remember, not Lord God, but God says, but flesh with the life thereof is the blood thereof. Shall ye not eat? Now, the reason why that had to be said is because it appears that specifically after the sons of God, chapter 6, a certain behavioral pattern developed. And, you know, it, you could, one could simply say, hey, yeah, these, these giants, these Nephilim, the sons of God, uh, you know, at one point when things were looking a little sparse and the cupboards were bare, these creatures would turn on anything and anyone. And specifically, it maybe came down to, you know, a lot of the... The creeping beast of the field and whatnot were all, everything was dried up out there. And humans against you-know-who, these Frankensteins. So this is a theme that starts in Genesis 9 and will continue all the way through Deuteronomy. And it, 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 it keeps, keeps popping up. To bring light to a problem that existed back then, and we are to believe it still exists today. Now, with that being said, who's who's perpetrating this certain behavioral pattern known as sacrifice? Well, you know, unfortunately. You come to these original groups, the original hybrid groups that come from Canaan. And remember, the spirit of Cain works, works through. All, all what happened before this is a continuation. The spirit of Cain, Satan, sons of God. You know, whatever their hangups were became the hangups of these groups. And... You know, from the get-go, is look, don't be caught hanging around with these these no good Nick uh, reptoids, these these original hybrids. And for some reason, uh, it seemed to be a very difficult thing to do. Why that was, why that is, you know, we'll have to wait and and see one day. But you see these groups keep being repeated over and over and over again. But the more important thing is, as you come to Genesis 35, all right, Genesis 35, and God said unto Jacob, arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there. But more importantly, he t tells Jacob, you need to put away the strange gods that are among you. Now, th th this is the, you know, this is Jacob and his family. So what strange gods were they uh, kind of cavorting with, right? Uh, who knows, right? But apparently, they were there. So, you know, when one, when one is so hopeful for this whole disclosure, alien UFO disclosure, I, I got to tell you, man, it, you know, it, it, well, let's just see how the script plays out. 
But remember, put away your strange gods. So they, they were told that over and over again. Thou shall not make no covenant with them, not with their gods. Meaning all the people that that back in Genesis, you know, they're still hanging around. And interesting here in Exodus, you know, they uh, Moses is informed, hey, my angel shall go before thee. But you make sure, you know, you, you beware of him. Obey his voice. Apparently some of those, yeah, they, they didn't get the memo, I guess. So, you know, and also even back then, keep thee far from a false matter. That's what I keep trying to get through with these uh, gang stalker types down here in Rosarito Beach, Mexico. But they don't understand. Thou shall not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked and be an unrighteous witness. Do not follow the multitude to do evil. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so look, here's the point, folks. We're continuing on. We're continuing on. Now, what's more important is here in Leviticus. They shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils after whom they have gone a whoring. Now, why... What in the world? What hocus pocus were they pulling on these Israelites to get them to screw up left and right? I don't get that. So, so remember, you know, a lot of this way back when could have been a visual thing. Like, you know, hey, hey the, these, these certain individuals, they certainly are not us. They're not like us. We need to stay away from them. But somehow they found a way to blend in, right, folks? And this is where the hocus pocus comes in. But it, it, it's it's the way they get these people back then, these humans, to sacrifice their children. Because what I missed here, what I wanted to go into was part of the bugaboo is found in Exodus 13. Okay, everybody hold on, hold on, the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever open the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and beast it is mine. Now furthermore, you obviously see who's the groups, right? There they are again. But more importantly is, Thou shall set apart unto the Lord all that open the matrix. Now everybody's, ooh, etymology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let me tell you something, folks. The etymology of it is, here, watch this. Watch this. All right. Friday, January 14th, 2021, 12.45 p.m. Look who's buzzing overhead here. There you go, folks. Right to the left of the palm tree. Direct overhead. Streets that have no name. I'm only doing this for effect, folks, because nobody else can do this. Why do you think they're buzzing around me here six years later? They started this garbage back in uh, July of 2016. It's 2021. All right. So there you go. So look, this this um, sanctifying when the womb of Israel was open is for a reason to protect protect his people. That's what that's all about. It's it's you know saving. The original humans that back then were, you know, these groups were causing them problems. Okay, so what's the point to this now? Let's just uh, keep, keep going. Because there's so many areas in the Bible that tell us, you know, look, you've got these groups out there 
and some of them are not friendly. So what I want to do is, I okay, here we go. Deuteronomy, one more. Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even to the other, and there thou shall serve other gods. So again, they keep telling you about these other gods. So here's the point. When, when you look, whoops, I'm going to get, get to the point here, folks. Because what is the situation now, all right? Here's the situation. As seen in Daniel. Nebuchadnezzar's dream, all right? The king commanded to call the magicians, astrologers, sorcerers, Chaldeans to interpret it. They came up empty-handed. But Daniel, as the God-fearing human, was provided the interpretation through the Holy Spirit, and he told us in verse 43, Whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Now this is the situation we're in, folks. Now, what you have to consider is this. You need to consider what I'm about to show you. Now, again, look, you know, I don't need credit for anything. I'm not here to win an award. But what we need to do is figure out right here. Now, look, when you see that, okay, folks? That's what Daniel 2, verse 43 is all about. Iron does not mix with miry clay. This is one of the original hybrids. They have, there's different groupings. They have different issues. The original ones have this electromagnetic distortion. Now, if you've ever, you ever see me looking like that, you let me know, people. Look at Ramallah, always so quizzical. Bewildered. Wow, man, how do you do that trick? Now, when everything else in the video is just fine. Yeah. Don't talk. Hey. See that, folks? I'm getting interrupted now. So here we go. Because I'm get, getting worked up. That's why. But when you see that, you know you've got a problem, Houston. All right? So let's continue on. Now, here, I'm going to, look, it doesn't matter whether it's a male or female Draco hybrid. Now, look, with the females, remember, they might have fingernails, they might have their nails painted, whatnot, but look, this is supposed to be Plackinger's thumb, okay? Look at this. Here's, uh, here's our boy, Chad Buxum, all right? Look at his thumbs, folks. Come on. Look, 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 at, look at his thumbs, all right? Do you, okay, when you, when you see me looking like that, you let me know. Come on, folks. I don't know if the light with the phone's helping or hurting, but I think you can see that. It's the electromagnetic distortion. It's a transparency. You get this um, uh, flat line, right? Okay, there should be a hand there. That what is what happened to his thumb? Come on, people. So again, when you see the electromagnetic distortion, the sawtooth effect. All right, that's Daniel chapter two, verse forty-three. We are knee deep in this whole um, quicksand, the muck and mire of these Draco hybrids, folks. And it's it's it. We're 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 coming in. To the ending. I know you don't want to believe that. And this is the job of the, the phony social media disinfo reptoid agent is to string you along and make you think that, yeah, we can just lottie dollar our way through this. And if some of you still have money in the bank, have access to uh, resources, well, yeah, okay, you can keep hanging on. But you keep in mind that people 
have been put up against the ropes and put on the chopping block. And this has been going on for a long time. There's there's uh, nothing but dead bodies when you look behind you, folks. So remember, don't think you got it all figured out. All right. Now again, come on. Look at that. See how the hand, it gets the electromagnetic distortion, but it flattens out, okay? There's Artie, same thing. And again, look, you know, she can't, she can't keep it together. Looking at her handler, trying to figure out what to say next. All right, these pea brains. And they all wanted to mock me. Now, I like this guy, Dr. Gene Kim. Matter of fact, I love him. He is now my sixth favorite Draco hybrid in the United States. Let's go down the list. Who are they? None other than Richie from Boston, my brother. Good to see you back in mass. Good to see you making a YouTube video, Richie. All right. May God shine on you. Who's number two? Marfugel. Jake Morphonius. Right? Okay. And then what? JK Bugout. JK, where are you, buddy? Come on. You, you have something to offer. You're intelligent. Let's see another video out of you. Okay, and who who was number um, five? It was Robert Breaker. Ah, Rob, you 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 you're, you're a good Joe. You're a good egg, Rob. You keep it up. And now number six, Doctor Gene Kim, because I learned from this guy. Remember, if these people aren't here, you're stuck with assholes like me. But how does this happen? When you see me like that, folks. All right. When you see that, you 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 let me know if you see that. When you see this on me, you let me know, folks. So now, this whole Montauk thing. Again, look. Look at Preston. Look at his hand as he's, he's getting ready to scratch himself. If you've ever watched this guy talk, he's always scratching his nose, his ears, the back of his neck. But look at that. Do you see how it flattens out? Do you see that, folks? There should be some type of a hand there. There's not. All right. Now let's look at me. Okay. See, you jokers, you, you, they, they all took me for a joke, people. For the real people that are watching me, I, I've been at this for five years on YouTube with this targeted individual community, with this whole uh, Montauk business, with this whole uh, reptilian shapeshifter business. All right. Now, again, all right, I'm not, I, I, I've always said, hey, I'm not above being analyzed, but this, if this is the best you people can do, you're pathetic. So for one, when you look at me on this video, what was I doing? Okay, for one, I was wrapping up my guitar ditty. Number two, I got the phone right on me, and as I go to try to turn it off, my hand is in a fist, and I'm holding this guitar pick. Which I believe, if you look right there, what, what happened? There's a low budget positive Paul production. Remember that, folks. But you can see there's the form of a fist. Do you see any straight line? Anything, folks? My eyes aren't looking too good. Look at that. That, that, you know? But again, if you are an honest broker, and the 